well, well. Real talk, real talk. Yes. It's Friday, man. And it's your boy. And I kill. Yeah. You know the thing go, man. Interesting, interesting vibration. Interesting, interesting vibration. Yeah. And as we enter, I just want to give all the love and thanks to all the members who have been with us for so long thus far. And it's an interesting time. Yeah. <laughs> Chica, what was your week? Chica's been going through a, a rigorous 16 week transformation and how has it been going for you Chica? Yo, it's not an easy road <laughs> as you will see <laughs> <laughs> right but I have three more weeks again to complete my first ever 16 weeks I must say that I'm proud of myself and thanks to Lion I'm able to Push through because it's a push. Yo, you know, I'm very, it's very difficult. difficult. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh, we gain some truth here. <laughs> Don't stop now. Yes, very difficult. I will consider myself as what you call a sugar dick, <laughs> right? So it was very hard. It was like, you know, those persons coming out. Sugar is a drug, right? Mm -hmm. But it was, you know, quite a challenging time. Just the amount of times, right? And finally, 2020 into 2021, finally, yes. we've got it right. <laughs> ish. Ish, ish, ish. We're coming along. Uh, right, ish. Yeah, we're right? coming so along. Don't let coming anybody along. tell you that dieting is easy or just simply changing the, your lifestyle of eating, then, yeah. right? Um, it's it's not as easy as some people think it is. Yeah, the it people just who say they want nice. to lose a little 10 pounds, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not that right? easy. But when the 16 weeks are up, I will let you all know what my weight was before and what it is now. Big up, Abby from England. We have England Hi, in the Abby. house. So we have Burn Team England, Burn Team Trinidad. Much love. Tonight is. Toxic relationships, that's the uh, vibration. So yes. feel free to place in the comments, have you ever been in a toxic relationship? Have you ever, are you in one? <laughs> are you in one? Have, yes. Are you the toxic one? So I don't know if you all saw the quizzes inside the discussion section. So even after, if it is your like, you can always go to the quiz and see whether you are in a toxic relationship. And if you are, who really is the toxic partner? Is it you or is it the other person? Yeah, man. And Chica has some news for us today. I yeah, didn't have some kind of loan, so I I'll, let Chica, <laughs> I'll let Chica, um, you know, give us the explanation. All right. So before we kickstart, I don't know if we should, I think we should really wait for more persons to come on. It's for you know, everyone to share this special moment with us. Special moment. Yes. Special <laughs> moment. So when it is, we when are is. in the middle, <sighs> you know, somewhere. Right. So the topic for today is toxic relationships. Please, in the comment section, have you ever been in a toxic relationship yes or no yeah and you just remember so what i'm going to do is put the number in the message the comment section so that you can either call or send in your voice notes you know we love to hear your experiences yes, yes we yes. love to hear your point of views so feel free to send us that whatsapp voice note or call and remember it's Real talk alive. Say where you're from. Say who you are. And say what you have to say. So it looks like it's real talk extra because you have all the extra jersey. Yes, yeah, so we have one the extra jersey because tonight is going to be extra special. 
on real talk so yes it's extra real talk live tonight because we're gonna have something extra tonight on a friday really yeah. <laughs> so, so the topic is toxic relationships we will get into the definition of what is a toxic relationship and we will let the members weigh in on how they feel about it were they ever involved in it some of their vibrations so forth so fifth as we move all right. forward so i just please the whatsapp number in the comment section so feel free to call or send your voice notes we are waiting for it abby you know you're the, number one the voice note or voice note queen right <laughs> <laughs> so send it in so what are your views what do you think a toxic relationship is right because you know everybody may have different views on what a toxic relationship is have actually a, a general you know yeah. perspective so what do you think it is so so what it, a toxic relationship is mm -hmm. based on dr lillian glass you know i got a definition from dr lillian glass dr what, lillian yes so she is you know a psychologist right so she has that experience now what she's saying is any relationship between people who don't support each other yeah yeah that's a start where there's conflict yes we know of course we'll have conflict but there's more conflict than usual and where one seeks to undermine the other where there's disrespect and a lack of cohesiveness i mean you know that cohesiveness when you hear cohesive it's a very strong bond something being held very close together right um we have keisha in the comment section Big up yourself. Saying, keisha if someone Charles. in a marriage but separate living in the same home for the kids sake. well that's that is interesting <laughs> yes so that can be eh, eh, mr hunt i have to send down man this thing privately in order for him to be present <laughs> it's a private you know a private message. yeah 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 big up kevin man good night Watch yeah love. so we have who is where people who don't support each other that's one that's the whole part of the definition right that's one part where there's conflict where one tries to undermine the other mm -hmm. and where there's disrespect and a lack of cohesiveness so what Keisha is saying she knows of a, a couple that um is there are a lot of couples who stay they live in the same house right. just for the sake of their children that is true yes yeah, so you may not have the support of your partner whether it's your husband or your wife right. you may be going through a lot of conflict and then your partner could be doing a lot of undermining big up charlene mohammed on the inside charlene one-sided yeah. affair so we have england in the house we have trinidad in the house and the whatsapp option is open feel free we have already placed the whatsapp number you all can call in or send your voice notes on the whatsapp live yes. team live Good. real talk live real talk extra yes yeah nice <laughs> yeah that's an interesting scenario but um yeah. we must must first understand the word toxic it's like a poison anything that has toxicity to your body to your mind to your vibration is poison and poison destroys some poison destroys quickly some poisons destroys slowly Good night, Mrs. McCarman. I know, so like, I have to send you a private message. Yeah, the too. private, yeah. We have to send only some private because all they misbehaving. Mm. Big up Kenton on the inside, if you present. Kenton, Rondell. Big up Rondell on the inside. I've seen a past schoolmate of mine. Much Good love. night, Laurel Lee. Much love. So, I mean, it is a poison. So when somebody's saying we're staying together for the children's sake, you need to be careful what you mean. Because sometimes relationships like that are poisonous to the children. Yeah. So you think just because mommy and daddy living in the same house, you think that that is um, not toxic? Hmm. Children are smarter than we think we are. 
you know, we think children are not smart, kids pick up very quickly. Kids will know when mommy and daddy together, but they're not together. Yeah? So, be mindful of when you're, you're using the children for things that have already been done. Yeah, yeah? so... She can always help you on that. That is, that is something I yeah, hear a lot. Yeah, I mean, because a lot of, yes, a lot of persons, they say... They stay in toxic and even abusive relationships for their children, right? And that it becomes a toxic relationship now because, you know, it's a family and we have many different types of relationships. Yeah. So for the children, that will be a toxic yeah. relationship. Big up Candy them. Barbara on the inside. Much love. So we have the full children clip. We are the full, full clip, but... We inside, we have England in the house, so everybody yeah. send some hearts for England, send some love for England. Abby Burn Team England yes. on the inside. Burn Team Trailer, Burn Team England. And the topic for today is Toxic Relationships. And Kishra is saying from her experience, yes, it is. Yes, it's n it would for never the be children. the children, yeah, it would never be that you're putting the children first but yet the children are observing that mommy and daddy is not having a good relationship yeah and that will be hard on them so when you're thinking oh i'm staying for the child no you are not you are staying to show face that's yeah. basically what it is and then at a certain time it might just be for the neighbors <laughs> or the or family yeah. yeah, so it's sometimes it is safer to leave rather than to stay because it does affect your child, right? And um, you don't want that they grew up in an environment that is toxic because then it poisons their mind, yeah. their, their, their train of thoughts. Yeah. So toxic relationships, that is the name of the game. Have you ever been, people, place in the comment section, have you ever been in a toxic relationship? Yes or no? Point form cheeks as we yes, move in. Yes, so we are going to the signs of toxic relationships. So some of the signs. One, toxic communication. Hmm. So if it That's is... <laughs> toxic communication. Communication. So you know we normally talk about having healthy communications with our partners. This is toxic communication. So this is where you call them names you don't listen to what it is they have to say yeah. or you um just walk off you have no care to communicate so it becomes toxic you know some persons are passive aggressive yeah, right. so there's no way of working things out it's just quarreling back and forth calling one another names saying things that can be very, very, when it comes out your mouth, you might want to take it back. Those toxic Yeah, but that's a regular. Um, I think no, sometimes it does be very serious. It might be seems very subtle, but... Big up yourself, Janelle. Nice. You're supposed to say what you're supposed to say, Janelle. Anyway, <laughs> big up Miss Bartholomew. I just send people personal messages I realize in this place. We're team members. Yeah? So, um, I think in conflict, times of conflict, we really let our tongue get a little looser. Eh? Yeah. I mean, male, female, both sides, like in a relationship. And it becomes toxic because we, we're not mindful of how we behave when we're angry. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we need to take a time out. You know, a long time, I see people telling each other, time out. Yeah. Before you address it, take a time out. And then sometimes too, and the name calling, it don't even bound to be an argument. It just feels to be. I mean, name calling is one, but I mean, I know when the argument heated, I think we just extra. really fire some kind of things, male and female. Yeah. We just have the little below the bell shots, you know, we have it, all of us. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it, it doesn't help. And as we say, toxic means to poison. So we don't want to put, yeah, we're waiting, Janelle, I'm waiting. Yeah, let's yeah. type it out. Right. Yeah, yeah toxic means the poison. So, I mean, yeah. anything with toxicity, you want to kind of 
If you care about the relationship, nobody yeah. perfect. It have no perfect relationship. Mm-hmm. People that have no perfect marriage, no perfect family, they don't have no perfect nothing. Yes. Right? So we want to shout out. Shout out. Yes, I seen some ex- people coming up. Some mothers. So we have <laughs> Miss Lestra Jardine. Pick up yourself, we mommy. We have Ingrid Petit. Well, yeah, my mommy is on the live. <laughs> <laughs> so all the sense of love for my mommy and then Chica mommy is on the live. Yes, and then we I have... I don't think they have ever been on the live together at once. No, not at the same time. So Chica's mommy and my mommy is on the live. Oh my yes. God. Look at love all again. Love, 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 love. Right? So good night to our mothers. And we have Miss Joy. Pick up yourself. You know, adopts us, you know. Should no, well, us. again, yeah, that's so next mommy day, you know. That's like mommy, mommy, and mommy. So, three yeah. mommies. Three mommies are the, on life. the live. So, love. <laughs> so, the topic is toxic relationships um, and how we, we deal with it. Yes. Because the last um, point was raised by whom? That, you know, you'll, the husband and the wife staying together and they're mm-hmm. using like the children's sake. Yeah. But yet, they're creating an environment. That is unhealthy. Yeah, yeah. So, Just poisoning their minds. Yeah. So and feel free in the comment section to play some of the things you guys would do to ease or mend a toxic relationship. And if you guys were in a toxic relationship, feel free to place your comments. Yes. And next thing, huh? jealousy. Jealousy okay. is another <laughs> sign. And this is not jealousy as you being jealous because other people seem to show interest in your partner. This is you being jealous of your partner because of the things that they are achieving. Yeah, so you know sometimes the, the lady might be doing her degree. You know, she get the doctorate now, like, wait, wait. You know, so sometimes guys kind of feel a bit insecure and yes. might be on the other, she might be on the other foot, maybe the guy mm-hmm. making a certain amount of money or making certain moves as they yeah, say yeah making moves and we trying to get better you know mm-hmm. we trying to you know get we help better look a little better yeah. get rid of the little excess unwanted stuff feel healthy and vibrant again yes. you know and sometimes people don't really like that mm-hmm. or the partner is not there to assist or give yes. that kind of encouragement when times get rough after 13 mm-hmm. weeks of that yeah. after 13 <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, bless yes. night over that all. Moving forward. Next, controlling behaviors. Anybody know anybody who control in here? Place in the comment section. Anybody was in a relationship where they felt controlled? Yeah. Controlling behaviors. So every time if you step your foot toward the door, um, where you going? Who you going with? Yeah. What time you coming back? Uh-huh. Anybody a can attest to such a things. A lot of a lot of control and what to wear, yeah. when to wear it, where should wear it. You can't wear it with me. You can't wear it with if you're not without me. <laughs> Who that? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, that's some kind of outfit, eh, ladies, really. I mean, yeah, within reason. No, it has yeah, some I mean. things that are within reason, and then there are some things that are not within reason. Shinaka is saying yes, toxic. I'm waiting for the voice note. Should not. Mrs. McCallman, feel free to explain deeply what you know what she means. You <laughs> yes, know? I need to get some information. Yes, send the voice notes. We want to hear some voices tonight. I don't know, I don't understand. Right? Um, so yes, don't worry, the special, the extra today is coming. Yes, uh, you know, now you see this yes. extra thing. The extra right. getting that Danica see in there. I know, I know. Yeah, I think Danica Thomas there. Well, if they cut Thomas there, she would say hi. Yeah, right? Hi. So I see it, yeah. Big up Nika Thomas on the live. Mm-hmm. Certain people need certain special invitations, I realize. Hmm. Certain team members are very bougie. Anyhow, moving forward. Yes. Resentment. So yes, we have control and behavior. We know Quite a number of persons would have experienced that controlling type of behavior from their partners, whether it's male, female, it doesn't matter because some women are very toxic themselves. Yeah. Right now, when people talking toxic, they're always talking about the man, but they don't be talking about the woman 
who are very much toxic, right? Next, resentment. So everything, the whole end grudges now, like serious grudges. And as like we mentioned in some lives before, you know, when it has come up, when you have a disagreement, yeah, yeah, it is it is it is information. Yes, the grudges that are held. So they hold a lot of resentment and yeah. bring it up. You know, in times when it hit you, as Diane said, below the belt. So Candy Barbara is saying she experienced resentment. So um, really and truly, you, you had to strike a balance with the relationship that you're trying to hold together. I think people hold together relationships. The yeah. two persons, it's not just one person doing all the work. And, um, exactly. That's what it is about. Mm-hmm. Going to the message board as we progress. So we have... you know, when the moms and them start to talk, <laughs> they take over the whole life. <laughs> we have Mrs. James saying a boy who was interested in me was controlling. A boy, here yeah, we do. I this. drop him so fast like hot I potato. I cannot understand. Bob's using the word boy. But she was younger, so she is the word boy. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, so yes, yeah, some persons realize, okay, I cannot go through this type of thing. The control, no. You drop it like a wild hot potato. A hot potato. <laughs> I mean, that, that would be wise, you know, when you realize you reach that point with somebody. Mm-hmm. That's like um, a woman finding out her boyfriend's a drug dealer or something. Yeah. It's like, okay, that's. We ain't talking here, that's it. Uh, we're in danger, man. My family and all this. Uh, that's it. You know, it have a, some people have a line that you can't cross. You know, that's why it's, yeah, yeah. No piece of the money. Yeah. You know, we are eating. Hmm. You know, so different <laughs> vibrations. Yeah. Next, mm-hmm. dishonesty. So, it have some persons, what they start doing is that they, it could go two ways, right? They just don't want to be with their partner. Not because it could be because of their controlling behavior or whatever else. And what they will start to do, they may tell the person that they are somewhere that they are not. They may create events to go places. They create events. Yeah, create events. <laughs> <laughs> create things, create activities where they know that their partner wouldn't want to go just to stay away so they start you know telling a lot of lies you know this is where <laughs> telling a lot of lies. <laughs> this is what i'm doing this is what i'm going to do and that time nothing like that is happening right and i will jump into one of the next points one time is negative financial behavior so that this one is right so this is what they're going to do right they take out let us say you have a joint account oh it has some persons with joint accounts right and they take out money, or let us say you don't have a joint account, but you all had certain plans for the monies. It's not it together, but not in the same place. Right. But one person decides I swipe in, I see something I want. Swipe, I start swiping. Swipe, withdraw. They do things that nowhere in the plan that is not even, um, it was not a responsible choice, a wise choice. Right, so we have Mrs. Batiste on the message board saying this can be avoided as soon as you realize they drop them. They don't Ooh, change. I find Mrs. Batiste. <laughs> Mrs. Batiste is Mrs. A... James. Yes, saying. Mrs. James, I drop find. Them. I find she learns sharp on the cut. She's a cut. She's a cutter. <laughs> what is this? As you miss drop them. Oh, I like yes. that. Yes, so what she's saying, as soon as you realize you control and behavior, you know you don't want that. She's saying, drop, they don't cheat. So what, are, so what about somebody who is in a marriage? I like how, you know, she's from a marriage. You know, I can <laughs> ask this question. You know, you know how much people like to ask this kind of question. You know, and they're in a marriage, and what would you advise, you know, if somebody's in a marriage and experiencing that, you know, maybe it came on late. You know, sometimes everybody don't show yeah. the true colors. Eh? Mm-hmm. So, so let's say it came on you know it came on late. Yeah. What would be the next move, you know, trying to, to deal with, navigate through that, being in a marriage? You know, what would be some of the, the suggestions, team members? What are some of the suggestions? Because, all right, he started to get control, and because sometimes yeah. people change, 
people change based on you know maybe he getting older he little insecure he might be not in shape as before he feeling that my wife looking good and he not looking the way he used to mm-hmm. and now he kind of holding on it might be that he really yeah. control and he just insecure and he worried or I don't know I just use it different terminologies where guys would behave like that what would be the suggested approach hmm. being in a marriage so we have a voice note and we also have another comment in his section comment section hmm? that needs to be read a comment in yes. <laughs> I have been in a toxic relationship for years and growth made me realize this is how I don't want to live that way anymore the person chipped away everything that made me who I am and I'm so much happier now for it so in essence they are no longer seem like they are no longer in that relationship so we have Sonali saying actually I believe that is nothing you should be talking about creating events because she has experienced that before. Right. Yes, yeah, so no, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. And then we have Trevor G on the line. Pick up yourself, Trevor G. You know, on Trevor. The and, and Janelle is saying, you're speaking about my ex husband. I don't know if that has <laughs> to do with the money or what. <laughs> Should I elaborate a little bit on that Yeah, first? we want to know if it's about the money. Yeah, you know, sometimes so it's all about the money. So, we are going to the WhatsApp from our girl, Abby. Right? Abby from England. Voice this notes, what's Abby different? from England, and you're watching Real Talk and I. Right, toxic. Yes, yeah. I have experienced it, and I bet most women experience yeah. it. The controlling is the number one. Right. Who you're talking to? Mm-hmm. Why you're talking to them? Yes. Don't go here. Don't mm-hmm. go there. You can't do this. You can't do that. Wear this. Wear that. Right. Uh-uh. Been there, done that, no more. And getting to realize what men crave after is mm-hmm. the control. Most of them, sorry. No good. Is the control. I don't know why, but I don't like it. Good riddance. (laughs) Oh, I'll be here and you're watching Real Talk Live. Another most very annoying toxic part of this is the argument. The non-communication and the arguing for no reason. Like every little thing you do is an argument. You cook something they don't like is an argument <laughs> i don't know you you're watching something they don't like i mean it drives me up a wall right make up yourself abby from england and there will always be an england <laughs> yes <laughs> so abby has has vigorously placed upon you know us so we in the babu as you know how it has go but um <laughs> We do believe in perspective and we welcome all perspectives. And we, we are, men, again, being a man, you know, being a guy in this, in this, in this realm, hard to be a guy, you know, eh? It's good to be a guy, then it's bad to be a guy. But um, people, I think, trying to figure out the root of what is happening as opposed to dealing with divine. So maybe the behavior of the individual, as Abby said, don't go here, don't go there. But read Trevor G. Yeah. Read Trevor G. <laughs> or let Trevor easy. Trevor easy. Read Trevor G. Message board. Message board. We have a lot of persons agreeing with Abby. So we have Chanel. Uh, Chanel did say it is about the money. Right. Um, Trevor is saying, I love Abby voice, Lion. So you're making sure. You are saying, Trevor. You're making sure the man who came up. When she comes Trini again, Trevor. you all hook me up. Trevor. Plenty experience and maturity there. So Trevor, before you get inside, let her know. By now I think she know that your body polygamy. I don't think Abby, are you into <laughs> No, by now she know that Trevor is Wait, wait, wait. Abby, are you into polygamy? <laughs> <laughs> because you know the thing said. So Finding the root of the issue may always weigh better when trying to get to the, the, 
the meat of the matter. So the guy might be acting a particular way. And sometimes if you're in a, maybe in a marriage or you're in a serious relationship, it is good to ask why is he behaving like that if you need to try to get to the bottom of the situation and rectify it. Because, I mean, calling for food, how often can you do that? I mean, how, even if you're doing that, I mean, how often can you do Women as cook still? Yes, there are some women, women, women cooking. Cook. People, so we, you know, have, <laughs> we have a shared experience, right? Um, we have Keisha. Mm -hmm. She's with her kids that from 21 going on 22. I'm 40, my kids are my heart. I used to hate when going out. I used to tell my youngest son, tell mommy don't look for nobody because I've been faithful even until this very moment. So what she's saying is she stayed definitely because she been, you know, for the, the children. family. Mm -hmm. Children are smart and children would know when mommy and daddy isn't right. And that might weigh heavily on the children. The children might think they are a burden because mommy going through stress or they're not happy and they're staying like that just because of us. That is not a nice she feeling. Says she cooks every day. Hey! But she... <laughs> well, burn tea means it's not on the, on the live. They just cook for us every day. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, relax. Hey, you can't throw out things there, no serious business here. <laughs> as, as I said <laughs> before. He's laughing, it's our love. Yes, yeah. we are learning from others. We definitely right. are. So in the end, um, moving forward, you know, in reality, being toxic or being poisonous, I mean, you, uh, there is always something to draw the poison. I always say that the most deadliest of snakes, it have an antidote, you know. The most deadliest of plants, there is a cure. For every disease, there is an answer. And in reality, if you really need to, if you really want that relationship or if that relationship should be, and I think that is the issue with us at this time, the issue with us is that we get into relationships for the wrong reasons. We get into relationships with no purpose. And without purpose, nothing cannot be. Because when the storm comes and you don't have purpose, then it would never stand. It would never rise again. It wouldn't be flourishing yeah. in adversity. And what people are talking about is adversity. People are talking about arguments, pettiness. But what about the money in the account? Money, I mean, money in the account. I mean, that's. Like, money. I mean, like, you just. You see, in reality, out, so. if. if we're talking about being toxic. Yeah. <laughs> Burn tea meals provides our meals. That's how spoiled hey, she has become. Look at this, eh? look at how you're Mrs. Your Mrs. James is how spoiled she has become. People cook for her. Mm -hmm. She rarely has to do such things. Anyhow, you're, as you're I said, I cook New Year's Day. <laughs> right? So, in reality, in reality, relationship without purpose, yeah. poison will fester. Relationship without purpose, it can't be rectified. It is the purpose that binds you, it is the purpose that drives you, it is the purpose that keeps you together. So, some people try to put purpose as the kids. Yeah. They will grow up and leave your skin right there and start their own lives. So don't use the, the kids as purpose. It must have a purpose between you both. Yeah. And as Trevor, if Trevor is in polygamy, that means it must have a purpose within you three. <laughs> it must have a purpose. And purpose is the thing that would keep the fire burning. Yeah. We can sit down and say, men do this, men do that. Burn team is not about that. Right, burn team is not about saying it's the man fault or the woman, or the woman fault. fault. We bo all you know what both are we trouble. The man does get hell of trouble and women when already all easy. Real talk. Right? So both of us, both genders give give trouble when, when trouble time reach yes. you know, we just give. Yeah? So we need to when deciding to pick relationships and relationship mean friendship, business partner. Not just 
emotional. Exactly. Right? When we pick in friends, ask yourself, what is the purpose? And you might find that you might really have a purpose with a friend. That friend picking up space in your friend box. Mm-hmm. I just get rid of my friend. I just get rid of a friend out of a friend box quick. <laughs> you understand what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes having relationship with family members can be toxic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So a relationship that could be anyone in a circle. The outer circle. In a circle. In a circle. circle. Like only a one circle. circle. Message board. Right. So, all oh, Trevor is confirming <laughs> the topic. <laughs> right? He said that humility is essential to yeah. um, toxic situation. One person seems to have a problem always with humility. So, he said that humility, if somebody is humble, Right. Yeah. Be a, uh, one but of the antidote then for because remember it, it, it must be both. You see, the thing is, you could be humble, and the other person is not meeting you, vibrating on the same frequency. Yeah. So, humility alone will not draw poison from something. It wouldn't draw poison mm-hmm. from the relationship because. Nine out of ten times, there's always a victim. People have a there was a victim in the in the, in the thing. Yeah. So in reality, right? We need to have the purpose is the thing. If both people see the purpose in the relationship and come yeah. together for purpose, it would be a stronger bond as opposed to just feelings mm-hmm. or sexuality or children. It is a stronger bond than all those things because sometimes when all vex, it have no sex, it have no, you know. So if it don't have that, what will happen next? What happen? If if the money is 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 less, big up yourself, Julie. Julie. <laughs> yeah. If the if the money becomes low, as it is in 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 COVID, now people lose their jobs, husbands lose their jobs, wives lose their jobs, so the money isn't flowing as it used to. If it was about that, then the relationship is over because then the purpose was wrong. Yeah. And that could be a friendship, that could be a family relationship, that could be a work relationship. You all come in to do a project, a business. It must have purpose. Yes, purpose. And we are going to WhatsApp. I understand this We have thing. a voice note. And after the voice note, I'm going to <laughs> then we are going to get into the I extra. I understand that. She got I'm very excited. Watching the real talk live. Oh, I'm really flattered, Trevor, darling. Oh, Lord, you don't do but that. But all I understand in polygamy is the word me, 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 uh, and me. I don't know about the rest. <laughs> 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 me. That's all I understand uh, about that word. Polygamy. Well, you know, yeah, what she said? <laughs> Up for a dinner date, probably candlelight with plenty <laughs> meals. Wink, wink. They both team up. Love connection. <laughs> so was... she says she enough for two women. In essence, she gave the idea though that she is two women in one, so you have a polygamous relationship with one of her. All right, so we message have board. message stream saying expressing self is not being toxic. Don't say nothing when you're angry, hungry, or overwhelmed. That's when coming to talking. So that's just an advice. If you're angry, hungry, or Yeah, I believe in that hungry. You see that? <laughs> yeah. You see that hungry part? Mm-hmm. You ain't lie there because if I hungry, you can't talk to me. Right? Yeah, right? that is real. That is experience. That is ex- ladies, all listed. Guys, all listed. That is experience. Right. Trevor is saying pure polygamy. No, it's not about me, but we. What she telling you is the only thing she know in polygamy is me. Like yeah. she. Like yeah. her. One. One. You still hear yeah, that stuff, you see? <laughs> you see? <laughs> so we are coming off of that note. So we are going into the extra tonight. Oof. Right? 
The extra. Yes, the extra. So uh. you know that lion, he now is unhealthy, right? Oh, Lord. So he's saying, oh, really and truly, what it is I've been letting you and the others go through as a type of trading method that, you know, I was testing. <laughs> it was the guinea pigs. Right? <laughs> up with a method a philosophy of training where it is you can build muscle and lose fat at the same time while you improve your cardiovascular ah, yes. system yes 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 and yes people as i told you all i will let you all know at the end of my first ever 16 weeks it's not yet completed but i'm right. going to complete it i fell I stumbled, Must I stop shook, herself. but I will be completing my 16 weeks in the next three weeks. So when we are on the next Real Talk Live at the end of February She'll this month, the stats. I will give you all but the But she kind of selling it out because she took out some pictures the other day and she showed how, you know, so okay, she can Yes, I took a video. A pic. What a pic you took out? We don't want to last, eh? Yeah, but I last just right eh? Nah, I talk about that. That pic is a small thing. But if it is you look at my profile video, that's a big thing. That is more progress from back then. Anyway, she so just like it. She said for the all. No, we are crying. talking about <sighs> Lion's training method that he used on us. That really it does well because I did lose fat and I did build muscle, and you will learn about everything when it is I post the link. So. <laughs> Chica, chica. <laughs> ah, Lord. So when I post the link, you could click, right? It is called Pounds Per Hour. That is the name of the method, PPH. PPH for short, Pounds Per Hour. So that is the link. So you can test it out. I do not know why I'm not getting it tested on mine. So we will place it on the page and we will place it in the comment section for yes. after the live. So the, the this is the first ebook by Basic Unconventional Raw Nutrition. It is a philosophy of ours. Right? It's a philosophy that we use. It is a style that we use that incorporates multiple muscle groups in order to stimulate maximum muscle growth and fat burning yes. capability. I have been using the guys and ladies on a Saturday and Sunday morning at Raw Fitness to test out the theory and the theory works and it is our first ebook on training and muscle development. Muscle centric training. Yes, muscle centered. Muscle centered. Right? So it is called PPH. Yes. And you all could just click on the link after the live. Yes. And you could just read yes for all the academic people all who love to read some people love to read feel free to get a proper breakdown of how basic unconventional raw nutrition trains i don't think that um fitness pages take the time to explain their methods so therein lies our method so feel free to um, Click and read. This is a detailed training method in which anyone could use for free. Yes. It, you don't have to pay us for anything. You don't have to send any money to any bank account. It is free, free. to use, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know if you anybody try to click on the link, but we will repost it. We will have it on the page and we will send it to you all privately for those of you who love the extra specialties we will send it to you all and um, much love and thanks yeah. yeah and chica was the one piece in this thing together so you know me i is an auto book man you know i <laughs> so i sent chica all the voice notes so think about voice notes upon voice notes chica was the engineer piece in the words together and having it flowing and you know these things you know so chica j took it upon herself she gave herself a deadline this is the first time in my life chica has actually just i didn't have to say anything it's just all right let's do it thing thing it was really really the voice note came one voice note i was like 
That's all I can. What could happen here? Yeah, you know, that it's was not it. a, It's very. It's not cons- a long. It's not long. It's as concise. A couple pages. It's a booklet, can, but an ebook. Yeah. Yeah, and you can definitely huh? read it. It's not gonna take you long. It's not even taking it you half an hour. It is very, very concise. Concise. It is very simple. I've been used to, and the words and the terms we use, we have. Yeah, the definitions. The definitions and what it means and why. And I really believe that people who are fitness pages and all the trainers, and this goes out to every trainer, right? Because people should be able to read your method in which you train people by. You must have a method and a technique in which somebody could go to your literature and read it. Yes. And understand, comprehend. So when they come to the session, they understand why they're crying. Because she can them know why they're crying. People who got a little taste at this before was the people who used to come out on the hill. Yes. It had something called wrong too. So you all used to see the um the, the aerobics with Chica yeah, and the girls, right? And after that, it had something called wrong too. Yeah. So that was the introduction as well to PPH with body weight before we went to the gym. Yeah. So again, that was the extra. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Chica really. Yes, I did set my own deadline. She can do it. She and can. all I'm saying, I'm not saying anything. I didn't say anything. I just sent the information. Right? He sent the information, put it together, and yeah. it's here. And then she can say, oh, okay, that is why. Because, like, even when she can go into the session, right? She did. That is why I'm saying it's good to have some literature for people to read. She was going through it and she didn't even know why. So now she could read and she said, okay, that is what you're doing. Okay, that is why. Okay, now I understand. And then when she saw the video, I told her that profile video, what she have up, I say, look at what is happening when you're doing the movement. And then she understood. Then I saw because I really didn't see it. She never saw it. <laughs> right? And then she saw the full workings of her abdominal muscles climbing, going up the stairs. So it's nice to... All fitness people, right? I have been involved, I have a little bio, I have been involved in training. I have played basketball at a national level and I have trained special needs for over 10 years. So uh, I have some. Um, you have some. Um, I have some things in me. <laughs> I have some stars on me a little bit. Yeah, so that was the extra. That was the extra. So people feel free to leave in the comment section what you want for real talk live. And in next next, next Friday. week Friday. Yeah. And before we go, so yes, we did touch on some things in terms of addressing the toxic situations then. And as Lion said, if it is there isn't any purpose and you in the relationship, yeah. then the relationship wouldn't survive and it wouldn't have that antidote to really cure what is happening. Now, if it is you understand or you know what your purpose is in the relationship, you will be able to invest and work on things. Yeah. Yeah? You see, because when trouble comes and it will come, you see, it, it's easy to be good when things good and nice and you have money and everything's good. But when things are hard, you must have a mission. You see, when you have a mission, then you stay for the mission. And the mission is not the children. The children is going to grow up and start their own lives. Stop holding on to your kids. Because you need to let go at some point. Because they will grow and make their own decisions. So if you want the, the relationships you have to generate that kind of longevity, it must have purpose. And in addition to that, you don't want your child or children growing up thinking that it's okay to stay in a relationship that's toxic, that's abusive. And we see that you know I was talking to Chica about that. I say like why ladies stay in so much relationship. Yeah. (laughs) Janelle has a date next Friday. Hey 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 as I said before they pick you up at past seven. So you get half an hour real talk. At least we are going through that general. We are taking that. <laughs> we are taking that. Don't let me have a call you yeah, one side. We are like private, a private discussion. Yeah? Yeah. It is not good to make your kids feel that if you are in an abusive relationship, stay with that man. Especially yeah. if you have guilt children. Right? So, so don't, don't even try to put that on them so young. Yeah? yeah. It's not okay. It's not. It's not. 
right? So try to remain open. Yep. Be accept your responsibilities and even accept it wrong. Sometimes some persons find it hard to accept that they are the one who were wrong in a certain situation. So be accountable, be responsible, be willing and open to invest in your relationship if it is there's purpose and as the saying goes where there's life there's hope so when there's life and really whatever life there is whatever purpose there is this was yeah. nika's topic this was nika charles topic who yeah. topic was this well, um, nika charles kind of brought together all yeah and it, and it came out to be toxic yeah um so factors that doesn't allow one to just walk away from a situation like that is as a lot of persons would have said they would have said their children and sometimes what happens is when persons have children let us say in most cases the woman she is home being the caregiver and sometimes age as we know in trinidad plays a very very thing when it comes to getting jobs so if if it is somebody realizes i've heard of persons they were out of a job for a number of years right they won't work in the state home to take be you know caregivers making sure that their child their children were well taken care of and when it is they go back out into the world of work it is very challenging to get a job yeah i'm so moving forward go, yeah i'm forward so, forget all of that because no what i'm saying she's yeah. asking what about the factors so that is just one yeah, yeah, children sometimes what happened because of the toxic relationships sometimes persons they don't even have so before if they used to have a very close relationship with family or certain friends they don't have that support system anymore so they may feel alone and may decide well you know i'll just stay here because they don't have any support it's alone, it's just, it's on the <laughs> because no it don't make yeah, sense no, i'm not making some, excuses no she's asking yeah. but this is just some of the you'll hear persons saying you know i don't have the support Oh, I don't have this. Oh, I don't have the money to move forward, and I want to, but I the same, but I can't. But once there's life, there are many now. There are many different support systems out there. So even if it's not your family or some distant relative or a friend, there are governmental assistance assistance that can help Wait. you come out of the situation and you of yourself. is the answer. So once it is a decide here what? I'm going to get up. I'm going to step out there no matter whatever happens happens but you're doing it and your children too will benefit from you doing this taking that step. Yeah? That's just the um social like I said that was um a whole book there. Into- I say well, like <laughs> Message board. So we have Nika saying, I understand that, but from experience, it isn't easy to move forward, leave, step out, etc. It isn't excuses. These are real factors. So I yeah. would say, I would say, when you're in a tight position, I was going on. I was trying to interject now because Chica went on a whole rant. Yeah, just for Nika. Yeah, but the rant now, <laughs> ranting now. She going on a kind of mission there. Then uh, when we are placed in tight positions, and what um, Nika is is expre- uh, well, experiencing or expressing is a tight position, a position where it seems like, yeah, it seems like there is no way out, right? And you see, there's two women personally. Right yeah, now, she right? knows right now who needs assistance. Well, it might be assistance in what you know. So Nika here's what going on. If it is you want to pursue that type of direction, you could inbox the Burn Team page and Chica will line you up with the right places to go and the doors to knock on when coming to that type of issue. That is the social worker section and we yes, are time for the social worker telling, section. She's thanking me for my rant. Yes. And the message board we have Um Kisha is saying yes I give up my job my dreams because he wanted me to stay home to care for our kids and back then I wanted my marriage Nice You must always have a plan for your future You must always have an exit strategy 
right? Especially when you're seeing things going down a road where it might affect your kids. Remember, you can't just be making decisions now based on what you want or you like or how you feel at the moment. You must be as strong as you need to be for your kids, whether you would have to stay in the marriage or, you understand what I mean? You had to bring yourself to that place, whether you're in the marriage or the relationship or not. You need to be able to, to be strong enough to handle your business with or without you see, the, the person. And you have to have strategies in place for that. You have to plan your life properly. And that is people's problem. This white picket fence thing is a wrong thing. Right? Because if you know that the relationship is toxic or it's heading a certain way and children are involved, let's say it's an abusive relationship. And you know, the man mashing up the place or the woman mashing up the which one ever, you have to know to yourself that at some point in time the feelings you have for that man. You have to put it to the back burner because the kids are now in a relationship where they could be harmed. So you always must be, you have to have them kind of strategies in place. And if you don't know, ask somebody. That is my problem. If I in a jam and I can't figure out something and I know somebody who knows somebody, right? Then ask somebody. We got to run the front I line. Terrence. Yeah, he did, he did, man. No, because he don't talk about it serious. And he had a wrong man. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, you know, always put an exit strategy when, because you have to, the children not big enough to fend for themselves as yet. So, you have to have an exit strategy and a protection in the event this thing goes haywire, women and men. Right, because sometimes you all separate, you might have a marriage with somebody else, the person has children with other people, and your children are there. And you have to be able to have a strategy to deal with that situation. Yeah? So, questions, comments, queries, concerns. The name of the book is Pounds Per Hour, PPH. PPA. It is burn team training method designed created by the whole team. By the sweat of the people coming out on that Saturday and Sunday, by the pain of people in wrong two after aerobics. This is the theory. This is our philosophy. It is set in no stone. So don't go looking for quotes by no scientists. Okay? This is how we train. And I said before, any personal trainer, any fitness group, any fitness page must be able to have some literature where people could read on the method in which they take to get their results. Don't let nobody come and tell you they have a, a, a 40 day abs and you're going to get abs in two months and you're going to lose 50 pounds in six months. That is rubbish. Right? So, before we go, we want to let you guys know, you can have plenty of fitness pages on, on Facebook, plenty of fitness gurus and so forth. They must be able to present the method in which they train so that you can read and see if this is for you. Nobody can say it will make you lose 40 pounds in three months. Chica, was, Chica is healthy and a healthy young individual. And when she now going through a process for her to see for herself what is the psychological, the physical, the mental stresses that comes when you're attempting such things, your favorite fitness people must have a method. It's your boy. <laughs> Mommy, what are we saying? Yeah. Um, saying what about a relationship where you are not living with that person but he verbally abused your mother with oh, your phone oh yes <laughs> ah lord that is toxic eh, mommy yeah so my mother is saying what about someone who allows their significant other to verbally abuse their mother. Now, here we're going on. <laughs> Any? I don't want to use the word. No. Mommy, I can't use the word. 
Yeah. Any person that gives their significant other the authority to verbally disrespect. There's me saying it on the live here, so you all can play it back. The mother, something wrong to them. They need, uh, I don't know what you call it. Granny would say, licks with cocaine, broom down by the sea when the sun rises. Some kind of thing that person needs. Because, regardless of the stance, you must still hold the respect of moms. Right? At the end of the day, mommy might be wrong in some instances. You know, she has she ways. We all our mothers have their ways. But that does not give you the right to allow another person now to curse out the one that carry you in the belly. That is disrespect. That is curses you're bringing on yourself. And that is not meant to talk about these kind of things. But at the same time, right is right and right is right. You know, if the po- if mommy do something, I go deal with my mother. I go say, mommy, I'm mad thing. Oh God, I let me talk to my mother. You don't talk to my mother for me, because we go have a problem. I, I mean, everybody has mother. Everybody has a mother, right? So it goes without saying. We know all our mothers have their ways at times, but the significant other should not allow. The person to take up their phone and disrespect. So that is my stance. If anybody wants to ask, who is my stance? That person should be cut off by just me. And that is my view. Chica, what is your view? Your significant yes. other, take up your phone and cuss for your mother. It's not even, it even yeah. sounding right. It doesn't sound right. more than toxic. That is not even a toxic relationship. That is a, that is a, a nuclear warhead. Yeah, even if moms do something wrong or whatever, it shouldn't be that they should be able to take up the other person's phone and curse them out. That is madness. And that is my stance before I go. Straight up. Straight on in right. So you all can message us because we didn't see anybody saying what they were like. Yeah, we will figure that out as so it progress. You will send the topics that you all have in mind yes. for next Friday. So it's your boy. Thank you. Well, we go and go, go and click on yes, the so link. Yes, I'm gonna post it now. And the page. check out the ebook. Pounds yes. per hour. PPH burn team training method. Yes. We go on. Go on.